Now, the semi-final races guys were just cooking some serious heat was brought into the kitchen of course by Jamaica's very own Oblique Civil and Kishane Thompson. Now, unfortunately, Akeem Blake did not make it into the final. Really, really sorry to hear that. But guys, we saw some steaming, steaming performances. But we also saw Noah Lyles doing better than he did in his first 100 meter heat and he's back. Fred Curl is also right up there in the mix. Simbini looks good. And of course, Marcel Jacobs made it into the final just by the whisk of a chance. He was not automatically qualified, but he still made it in there. Now, looking on the times, guys, looking on the times, Oblique Civil and Noah Lyles were basically the two who were up first. Now, Civil got into his running very, very good, excellent start. While Noah Lyles did run well to clock 9.83 seconds, it seems as if he was really, really pushing. But Oblique Civil looked extremely good. He was comfortable. He ran that 9.81, a personal best again. And of course, he had some more in the tank to spear. He slowed down a little bit and he clocked 9.81 to finish ahead of Noah Lyles. Now, this is telling guys, I believe that we should not be sleeping on Oblique Civil. I think he has something special up his sleeve. I just want him to go out there today and just to get rid of the fear and all of that and just to run to the best of his ability. I believe something special can come out of this kid in this Olympic in Paris, France. Now, when you look at Oblique Civil, I think he's maturing into the athlete that we expect him to be. And I hope that this year will confirm that with his performance. I hope that he will get some medal of some sort, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the bronze. We want him to medal. Of course, we want him to be ahead of the Americans. Uh, because we are Jamaicans right and no disrespect to the American athletes but yes Oblique Civil looks like one who can take it to the world this year he ran an extremely extremely beautiful race I really loved what I saw he looked composed and of course he looked fast he looked as if he's going to break that 9-8 barrier this Olympic final I'm hoping that Oblique Civil will do that because I always say that Oblique Civil can go 9-7, can go faster than 9-8, I think it's in him and we are looking forward to see if that's going to transpire right now but it's steaming up. Now over to the big man himself, Kishane Thompson, he responded to Oblique Civil's race dropping 9.80 seconds to take first place. He was able to look over his shoulder, he was able to look around and do all sorts of things in the block because he was because he was extremely fast. He, was, he had a very decent start and he was ahead of everybody as he had all the time in the world to do what he wanted. He threw Fred Curley a look and realized Fred Curley was in the distance so he just straightened up and he went ahead and took that race. Now guys, this sets up for a very, very, very decent final. If the guys can hold their nerves and go out there, we can see one of the fastest races since Usain Bolt. I do believe that is possible. Now, we know the final comes with a lot of pressure, mentally and anxiety and all this kind of thing. But we know that if the guys hold their nerves, this is going to be a very, very fast one. I'm looking for Oblique Civil to medal. I'm looking for Kishane Thompson to medal. No allies probably will be third. Um, but I'm looking for the Jamaicans to finish first and second place based on how they look. Now, if things turn out differently, well, that's just how it is because this is track and field. Nothing is certain for sure. And of course, after finishing the semi-final and the heat, the times that you clock, they are no longer important. What is important is what is done in that final race. So we're looking forward to see what is going to happen. But I'm saying that it looks like Jamaica is back. It looks as if Jamaica is back. Kishane Thompson has a lot more left in the tank. The man was just a beast of a sprinter. And you can't help to admire how composed he finished that race. At the start of the race, he looked a little bit nervous. He was there and he was praying and all of that. But he finished and he finished well, looking, looking quite confident. And that is what we're looking for from our athletes. Now, just how fast he can go, we're not really sure. But we're looking for something in, 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 in the 9.7s and we're looking low 9.7s because we already know Kishane is a 9.7 sprinter and the thing is he's always doing his times holding back now remember when the final comes it's going to be a thing where there's no need for holding back it's going to be that place that he's going to go all out he's going to go there he's going to fight he's just going to run we are going to see what he's 
what he has to offer but I get the feeling that is going to be something special it is going to be something special Hakeem Blake for whatever reason he didn't make it to the final this time around and we are we are just cheering in this sad moment for him but nonetheless he did very well in qualifying for the semi-final rounds in making it into the Olympics and we just want to continue to support him now we are not sure what sort of decisions he will take going on from here he's been emerging over the years and we are certain that he's going to want to do better so we are not sure what decisions he's going to take is he going to move to a new camp is he going to continue now as an athlete or as a sprinter I think you'll have to do what is in your best interest. You're going to want to win. You're going to want to see improvements as the time goes by. But for right now, he did not make it into the final. And nonetheless, we love him just the very same. We just want to say congratulations to all the others who participated in those races. Let's see, he looked good also. He finished in second place. I'm not sure if he was holding back a lot, but he did look good. He finished quite comfortably behind Simbini. And of course, we know that Tibogo has a lot to offer. He's a very, very good sprinter. He's emerging. Last year, we saw him doing extremely well outrunning Oblique Civil, Zarnel Hughes, and all of that. So comes the final, we're expecting Tibogo to bring his A game and to do what we know that he's capable of doing. But as for right now, we just continue to watch out and big up the Jamaicans, Kishane Thompson, Oblique Civil. You know, for going on out there and putting on a really, really good show. I'm telling you, I'm really super proud of these guys. If they don't medal, I'll be disappointed. But I still will appreciate the hard work that they do. I think that they did extremely well in these past couple of races that they had to run in. It was extremely high pressure. The, the, the semi-finals, what can I say? The semi-final races, they were extremely stocked. It was like a final in itself. They were like a final in themselves. The races were super stacked and you had to do extremely well to qualify out of those to make it into the final. But now it's all done guys. Whatever was done in the semi-finals, it will not be of much benefit to the athletes going forward. What they need to do is to replicate or better these times that they did in the semi-finals to stand at least a chance of making it onto the medal podium. And I think that they have it in them to deliver the goods. So we're just looking out and see where we take it from there.